I'll explain here in just a little bit. We are standing by with Fernando Lopez, who is the executive director for the San Diego Pride. How are you feeling on the eve of this big weekend? I can't wait to come back to Pride after three years away, right? right? We were all under lockdown, away from our friends, family, and loved ones for two years. And that means it's been three full years since we've had a full-scale Pride. So we're all ready for Pride, right? Yeah! <laughs> I love it. Well, it is going to be perfect weather. We're getting yes. a little taste of uh, the sunshine we're going to get this weekend. Absolutely. So tell us about some of the events, what, what people can expect with the parade in particular, because that's the big one that kind of takes oh, over. Yeah, I mean, the parade is the largest civic event in the region. Um, we're expecting record-breaking years. You know, you never know. Our largest year was between 300 and 400,000 in 2013 when we won the right to marry. So expect another huge year uh, for the parade and get there early. Public transportation, walk, bike because traffic's going to be terrible. <laughs> Do you have an idea of how many people you're expecting? You never know, right? Okay. I mean, anyway, it can fluctuate from 100,000 on the low end to about, we now are around a quarter million every year at the parade itself. For the festival, we're expecting 55,000 people. Oh my goodness. Okay, what's what's the highlight? I mean, if you had to pick one event to go to. Well, if you, I mean, obviously everyone's going to the parade and you have to check out that two-day festival in beautiful Balboa Park, Saturday and Sunday, literally hundreds of entertainers and five different stages community resources, artists, entertainers, dancers, musicians. It's just going to be spectacular. And there's no beverage gardens this year. So you can walk around with your cocktail, with oh your family, my. anywhere oh. you want. It's a new city regulation okay. for one year. Thank you, Mayor Todd Gloria. So uh, really excited about that. So be on your best behavior, right? Sure. Because obviously <laughs> you, you, you don't want to like, you know, get rid of that rule, right? <laughs> right. right. I mean, okay. just like if you went to Petco Park or SeaWorld or a concert venue, same rules and regulations apply. Okay. Okay, yeah. fantastic. All right, well, speaking of the entertainment, let's bring in Russ Sperling over here, who is the, uh, the director for our Pride Band. Tell us a little bit about the marching band. Yeah, well, we started this about five or six years ago with a bunch of music educators in the county, and um, they hear the call and they come, and so it's such a great thing. These are kids from all over the county, from their high schools and college marching bands. And uh, we so come together. So they can be high school or college? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so we, we come together, just three rehearsals, because they're so good, and we just pull it off. <laughs> And we do the rally tonight, uh, we do the parade tomorrow, and they're going to go to the festival. It's going to be awesome. And how many people are in the band? A little over 40 this year. We're a little down because okay. of uh, some, you know, getting over and, and rebuilding. Yeah, we haven't, right? we haven't been doing, doing these all things. That. But these kids are the, 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 the diehards, right? They're here, they're, they're in it to win it, and uh, we're really excited about tomorrow. And so, of course, uh, the big spotlight of all of this is marching in the parades. It is a marching band. Do you guys practice doing a little marching down the street? Where where do you practice? Oh, we actually practice at Madison High School, one of the San Diego okay. Unified schools. I work for San Diego Unified, and so uh, we're in great partnership with them. And so we had, you know, marching practice, and yeah, we marched around the parking lot at Madison <laughs> last Whatever night. Whatever Oh yeah, totally. So right. they are conditioned and ready to do it. Now I've been razzing you because as a former marching band member, I'm a little disappointed there's no flutes in here in this. Uh, I group here. Yeah, well, we have flutes, but I think they're still asleep. I think they decided not to come. <laughs> come on, the flautists work hard. Although we don't have to carry, a, you know, the sousaphones uh, really get that award. Okay, so what what are you going to be playing for us this morning? Oh, we're doing a little Gaga, uh, Born This Way. <laughs> Sounds perfect. And then I guess, well, can I quickly get everyone's name? I got I to gotta run oh, through Oh, sure, you quick. do it, yeah. Okay, let's do this really quick. On Alta Sex. Sage Shapira. I'm Brenna. I'm Jesse. I'm Christopher. I'm Lilith. Okay, I'm gonna come back here. I'm Chris. Artemis. I'm Damien. I'm Daniel. I'm Ben. And we got the drum set. Marco Ozaga. Dylan Levas Martinez. Adam Brown. I'm Sarah. Gabriel. Jaslyn. JP. Not left. Okay, here we go. Are right, you ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, and. <laughs>
and Fernando Lopez, the executive director for San Diego Pride. This is exciting, and you're getting kind of a taste. As oh, yeah. Here. I can't wait. Happy Pride. Happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride. It's our youth band. Everyone, they're going to be out today at the Spirit of Stonewall Rally. And, of course, tomorrow at that giant, our uh, city's largest civic event, that San Diego Pride Parade. I can't wait to have everybody there. Speaking of pride, you, how much pride do you have in these youngsters to be as good as they are? That doesn't happen by accident, does no, it? No, they are impressive, and it's all under this uh, young man's <laughs> direction. Oh, Russ I'm Sperling. sorry, am I giving the word? Russ, <laughs> Russ Sperling is, is the executive well, director. my boss. Let me ask, all right, so let me ask you the same question. Could you... Being that pride is the theme of the morning, what is uh, the pride you feel for these young musicians? Immense. I mean, the fact that they give up the time in the summer, especially coming out this morning. This is like pretty early for them. You know? Absolutely. It's for any musician. Time. Yeah. For any musician, you are exactly Shout right. Shout out to our, <laughs> our youngster drove from Marietta. Yeah. 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 They come wow. from all over because... Thank you. And Thank we you. have, means they're a lot. so talented. And, and, and it's a credit to the music educators throughout our county that yeah. are so great at what they do. And they managed to keep teaching music over the last couple of years. That was hard. Yeah. That is hard well, to do. Well, because we couldn't get together. I mean, I mean all, the, uh, all the hurdles you had to jump. Yeah, it was not easy. And it was not as much fun as this. How, <laughs> right. how long is the parade route for you guys tomorrow? It's about a mile and a half. Yep. Mile yeah. and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Stay got, hydrated, everybody. You got that. But you know what? You the got crowd that. will be off the hook for this group. And sure. they will be like floating. They will be like so built up by the pr crowd. I told them they're not going to even feel it. It's going to be so good. So what song are you going to take us into the weekend with? We are w doing We Are Family. All right. All right. that. Thank you guys so much Thank for you. being here. Thank you. Good weekend, Have everybody. Have fun tomorrow. One, two, three.